Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome this morning prayer. Welcome, showers of blessing and the fasting breakthrough. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Welcome. This is Reverend Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you. Overcomers, deliverance and the healing ministry. I would like you to open your mind and be very attentive to this message. Do not allow the enemies to make you miss one sentence from what you are going about to hear. This is a very important message today. We are going to talk about entrance of the blessing. Pastor Samuel John uh, Josephson will be teaching this topic this morning and I hope that God is going to mean God is going to talk to you and open you more than before. This prayer is going to open a big door for you. It is a shower of blessings, prayer and fasting breakthrough. It is your negativity you've been thinking very negative, it is going to die. Every negativity in your mind is going to be finished, it's going to be destroyed. That is one way that you, you are going to get benefit of this prayer. This prayer, it is anointed prayer pro, uh, formated by the Holy Spirit. I hope that you will not miss even one word. Welcome once again. Pastor Samuel, welcome this morning. And I know you are, you are going to, to speak the word of God as God has given to you. Welcome, Pastor. Amen. Good morning, everyone from Africa, Europe, North America, and wherever you are, even in Asia. Good morning. I bless you all this morning in Jesus' name. And I pray and I believe today that as you listen to the message today, and as you hear my voice, that the Lord will unlock and unchain the blessings in your life, and that the Spirit of God will visit you mightily today in the name of Jesus. And so before we pray, before we pray once again, I want to tell you what we are about to discuss. Like you had the woman of God saying earlier, there are so many hindrances to blessings. Our topic of prayer and fasting this time is shower of blessings and financial breakthroughs. Why is it that brethren struggle financially? Why is it that we go to church, sometimes we give our offerings, we give tithes, more often we give offerings and tithes, and yet things are not changing in our life? How come we are always asking people, some of us, we ask people to help us with money or we, we struggle, the money we make is not enough and all that. Now, I am beginning a series this morning, and I'll be talking about this tomorrow also. Uh, if we don't finish it today, we can continue with it tomorrow. There are some hindrances, there are some obstacles that hinder your blessings. I want to begin to highlight some of them, so that when you deal with them, and when you look into them, when you pray, you pray effectively. The Bible says, let every man examine himself let every woman examine herself the time has come for every one of us to examine ourselves and ask ourselves the question mm. why are things why are things not working in my life mm. why do i have to be struggling mm -hmm. why do i have to keep struggling why do i have to keep trying to make ends meet and and this problem 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 mm. It does not mean that as a child of God, you will not experience a period of drought. Mm -hmm. Many people many people in the Bible experience it. Elijah experienced his own drought, even though he's a mighty man of God. Yes. The moment, the moment Jezebel started to chase after him to kill him, he had to run to save his life, and he wanted to die. He was experiencing a spiritual drought. Now, uh, there were times that uh, Jeremiah experienced that all the mighty men of God, yes. the women of God experienced doubts. Yes. But 
each and every one of these men and women of God. They were not lacking. Yes. Because yesterday we learned that God, that, that, that His grace is sufficient. For my God shall supply all your needs. Yes. According to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. But yet, many times we suffer, we suffer, we keep suffering. Yeah. And so this morning I pray that as we look at the Word of God together, mm -hmm. and as we meditate on the Word of God, and as we pray some few specific prayer concerning our financial breakthroughs, yes. it is my belief that God will touch you right where you are. Amen. And that God will change your situation. Amen. God will change your story. Your testimony will begin to change. Amen. So that any other time you can say, Pastor Samuel Josephson, God changed my story. God Amen. touched my life. And I would like to hear your testimonies as we continue to progress in these prayer meetings. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. And so, Father, this morning we come. We come into your presence. Yes. We come to receive. We come that you may open our ears to hear. Yes. We come that you will open our heart to be to transform our heart. We come that you may change us. We come that you will show us where we are having an open holes and leakages in our life so that we can close them and enjoy the blessings that you have for us. And so, Father, we have come this morning. And we ask, let the entrance of your word bring it understanding, and let the entrance of your word enlighten our path. Father, we want to walk in light because mm -hmm. we are children of light. Yes. Therefore, may your word, may your word illuminate our path today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, because as we go into the study and as we pray, we welcome the Holy Spirit in our prayer. We welcome our Master Jesus to whom we honor today. Yes. Therefore, we thank you, Lord. Help us to pray and help us to focus. We reject every distraction, anything Amen. that will distract us today, Amen. we reject them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless everyone that is hearing my voice right Amen. now, no matter where they are, in their bedroom, in their living room, at work, somewhere in different countries. Lord, I pray your blessings upon them this morning. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name for you. You are with us, and you guide us, and you be with us today. Amen. For we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And so, brethren, in the book of in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus, beginning from verse one, God spoke to the children of Israel specifically. Mm. He spoke to them specifically. He said, You shall make you no idols, nor graven image, nor rear you of any standing thing, neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land mm. to hew down unto them, unto it. For I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my Sabbath, reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Now hear this, brethren. Verse 3 says, If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain, rain in the due season, mm -hmm. and the land will yield her increase, Amen. and the trees of the field shall yield their fruits, mm. and your threshing shall reach unto the vantage, and the vantage shall reach unto the sowing time. And you shall eat, that's verse 4, and you shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. Mm. And I will give you peace in the land, and you shall lay lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will read you, I will read evil, beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. And you shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. Amen. And five of you shall chase an hundred, and an hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, mm -hmm. and your enemy shall flee before you by the sword. Mm -hmm. For I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you, and you shall eat bread, you shall eat food, store, and bring forth the new, because of the new. 
And I will set my tabernacles among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you, and will be your God, and you shall be my people. Amen. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of bondage, and you should not be, and you should not be the bondage, and you should not be beneath. That you should not be beneath. Pardon me. Mm-hmm. And I have broken the bonds of your yoke and made you go upright. Amen. Amen. You see, this is the Lord outlining. I will continue to read that by tomorrow as we continue in this topic, the hindrances to our blessings. The Lord is outlining the things that He wants us to do to receive our blessings and to sustain our blessings and to maintain our blessings. Mm. Because it is one thing to be blessed and you sustain the blessing. Mm. You see, there are so many, after they eat on the table, they begin to eat crumbs. They begin to beg bread. God forbid, God says, my children will not beg bread. Mm-hmm. And sometimes sin and carelessness lead us to poverty and all kinds of problems. In Matthew 21, verse 12 to 16, Matthew 21, 12, 16, I want you to see this because this is, this is how Jesus dealt with people who are handling money in a strange way. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 12 to 16, and I read from King James Version, verse 12. It says, And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, mm. and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, Mm -hmm. but you have made it a den of thieves. Thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him and in the temple, and he hid them all. And the Bible continued, and when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David. They were displeased. The Pharisees and the scribe were displeased. Now verse 16. And said unto them, Jesus said, and the Pharisees said unto him, Here is that what these are saying. And Jesus said unto them, You have, yes, have you never read out of the mouth of babes and suckling, thou hast perfected praise. That's what Jesus said. Thou hast perfected praise. Now, why are we reading this? Jesus transformed the house of money changers and corruption first to purity. Purity, I want you to underline the word purity. Mm-hmm. Second, to prayer. And third, to power. So, when you live a life of purity, a life of prayer, and a life of praise, you will have power to make wealth. Yes. Because the Lord gives power to make wealth. Mm-hmm. So when you have purity, you have prayer, and you have power, and you praise God, God will open the door for you. The enemy cannot steal. The devourer cannot steal your blessing. Yes. And Jesus, after he did all this, first of all, he cleansed, he purified the temple. Then the Bible says he healed the sick, Mm. whether it be financial sickness, because poverty is a sickness. Yes. It's a disease that is not for the children of God. Amen. Because God says, my children shall not bear bread. Mm. The righteous shall not be forsaken, neither his children begging bread. So yes. you cannot break, break, break bread, woman of God. You will not be forsaken. Mm-hmm. Because God has promised it and guaranteed and put his stamp of approval on you that you will not break bread. You will not lack. Mm. But only if, as we read, in the book of and the book of uh, of, uh, of uh, numbers this morning and Leviticus before in the book of Leviticus chapter twenty nine mm-hmm. chapter twenty six only if you keep this commandment of God that I give you the statutes of God the word of God you keep it you know so yes. you 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 pray you have purity in your life and you praise God you have power mm. you have power yes. Amen. Now, if the Lord, the Lord requires that our soul be healthy, not just our body. Our body includes our soul. Mm. Our soul, spirit, and body must be healthy. Yes. 
1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 15 says, You are the temple of the Lord. Yes. You are the temple of the Lord. Amen. And so this temple, we, are to, we are ought to keep it holy. The Lord is telling me this morning, there is someone that needs to watch their relationship. I don't know who you hang out with, with a man or woman. And I don't know what you do with this person. But the Lord is telling me that because of this thing, your blessings are being drained. And you have to watch it. You have to watch it diligently to avoid any appearance of evil in order to not to drain your blessings. Mm -hmm. And so we must, we must, we, we, we must rid ourselves of every kind of greed, every kind of maneuvering, every kind of bad motive or selfish motive or selfish things to allow the blessings of God to flow in our lives mm -hmm. and the blessings to stay. You know, so prayer and obedience, they go in hand in hand, praise the Lord. Prayer and obedience go hand in hand. And that's why the Lord is telling the children of Israel, if you do this, then I will bless you. If you do this, then I'll bless you. Leviticus chapter 20 says, when you have time, I'd like you to read that scripture, the whole of it, because we're going to be looking at some elements of the if that we need to do in order to receive our shower of blessing. Yes. We look at it. So prayer and obedience, they go hand in hand. If you be, you will eat the fruit of the land. If you be, your fruit will stay. If you be, I will cause an increase. If you be, if you not listen to me, then this will happen to you. Then you miss your blessings. Yes. That's what the Lord was telling the children of Israel. Mm. And that's what the Lord is telling us this morning. This, this message is for someone. I believe that someone, if you pay attention to this message, your life will never go the same again. Yes. And so prayer and obedience, I said earlier, must go hand in hand. If we are to move into the power, if we are to move in the realm of the shower of blessings and enjoy supernatural anointing for breakthroughs, our prayer must go hand in hand with obedience. Amen. To obey God, yes. not to set our doors in our hearts. Mm. Now, if you look at Matthew chapter 6, 9 to 13, it talks about the Lord's prayer. The Lord teaches us how to pray. Yes. And how to pray effectively. It is a very, very simple prayer mm. that I would like us to read and pray this morning, you know, as we discuss Matthew chapter 6, beginning from 9. Jesus taught the apostles how to pray. And Jesus teaches us how to pray. And I pray that you learn something out of that prayer this morning. Yes. Matthew chapter Matthew chapter chapter six. If you have your Bible, please open to Matthew chapter 6. And I want you to look, listen to this. The prayer begins from verse 9. Jesus said, After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debt, even as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so Jesus set the, set the tune for prayer. He continued in verse 11 and verse 12, and he says, <clears throat> verse 13, and says, Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. My prayer is that not only God deliver us from evil, but he deliver us from poverty this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. And so if you look at that prayer, if you look at that Lord's prayer, the, the prayer started very slowly. The Lord's prayer is a prayer outlined is a prayer that God, Jesus, showed us in the manner that we pray. Yes. And our prayer life must move from desire to discipline to delight yes. in the promises of God. Amen. From desire, we desiring something to discipline. We, we promise God discipline of forgiveness and discipline of 
things are discipline in our life and we go to delight. Give us this day our daily bread. Yes. But first, you must pay attention to the word our Father, mm -hmm. which art in heaven. Yes. <clears throat> Hallowed be thy name. Yes. This signifies appropriating names to God. Yes. Yesterday, we talked about one of the, the Hebrew names of God, Jehovah Jireh. Yes. God our provider. There are so many of them. His name is also Jehovah Sidikenu, yes. Jehovah Makedisi, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, God our peace, Jehovah Shama, God our righteousness, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rohi. God has so many names, and each of these names is a revelation of the character and the nature of God. One day we come back to the names of God, the eight names of God in the Old Testament. Yes. One day we're going to look through it, you see that each of these names have praises unto God. And when we pray according to the name and the will of God, mm -hmm. you will see how the blessings of God will flow on your end and for you. Yes. Say, hallow, hallow be your name. Praise be your name. Honor be your name. Glory be your name. You see, we must sanctify the name of the Lord. Yes. We must speak expressively to honor Him. Yes. You know, before you come to God and present your petition, your blessings, and your complaint and your trouble, first recognize that God is your Father. He is the creator of the whole universe. Amen. He's way up there, way here. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, heaven is the dwelling place of God. The earth is his footstool. We are right here on the earth, the footstool of God. And we must honor him. We must hallow his name. We must adore him. We must praise and adore him. Mm. And as we do so, we sanctify the name of the Lord. Yes. And as we sanctify his name, as we, we communicate with him, we ask him to search us, forgive us our trespasses. Yes. Our sins, even as we have sinned against others, forgive us, even as we have forgiven those who sin against us. So you must forgive everyone that offend you, because if you have not repented of your sins, if you have not turned to Jesus and accept him as your Lord and Savior, if you have not forgiven those that offended you, that sin against you, mm. that would be a hindrance to your prayer. Mm. And you pray, it's almost as if your prayer is bouncing in the ceiling. And you do not, you cannot experience the power of God to make wealth. Because the Bible says that it is God who gives power to make wealth. For you to experience the shower of blessings from God and financial breakthroughs, you need, you need that power. Amen. You need that power. You need the Lord to clear every, everything and the blessings of God will fall on you. I believe I'm speaking to somebody this, this day. Yes. And I pray that the Lord will touch your heart, even at this moment, that you open your heart. You say, let the search light, let the Spirit of God search your heart. Mm. David says, if I delight in iniquity, if I have sin in my life, the Lord will not hear me. Mm -hmm. Brethren, this is not to preach guilt on you. Thank God you're not watching me right now, but I want you to examine your life. Examine your life and make sure that you are in the right step with God. Amen? Amen. Let the Lord, let the Lord search, put a search light in your life. Amen. And as you said, if the Lord points on anything, I want you to repent out of it. Mm -hmm. I want you to change. I want you to, to allow the Lord to transform you. Amen. Yes, let the Lord transform you. Let the Lord change you so that as you praise, the Bible says that men and women, we ought to lift up holy hands without wrath or dissension. As yes. you pray, as you lift up your hand to worship, to praise God, you're lifting it out of a sanctified soul and spirit. You're lifting up a holy hand and the Lord will honor it because you see that your heart is pure. And guess what God will do? God will give you power to make health, the wealth. Amen. And God will release all the blessings that he promised for you. Amen. And you will never know lack again. Amen. So remember to praise God. Remember to adore his name. Remember to give glory and sanctify the name of the Lord. Amen. But please, do not profane. I 
repeat again, do not profane the name of the Lord by your conduct. Amen. Brethren, I beg you, do not conf do not profane the name of the Lord by your conduct, by your behavior, in your house, with your husband, with your wife, with your children, at your workplace, even with your grandchildren. Do not profane the name of the Lord in your relationship yes. with a man, with a woman. Do not profane the name of the Lord. Remember, the name of the Lord must be sanctified. Your conduct will profane it, and when you profane the name of the Lord, you lose your blessings because the enemy will attack you. Mm. It becomes an open door, open door or a doorway for the enemy to steal your blessings. Mm. And so I believe that the Lord has ministered to somebody this morning. Yes. And I believe that the Lord has spoken to you. And so as we go into prayer this morning, I believe and I pray that the Lord will break every financial bondage in your life. Amen. And I pray that the Lord will give you a dumbfounding breakthrough, financial breakthrough. Yes. And that the Lord will the Lord will rid you of every financial embarrassment that you face in your life. Yes. And the Lord will destroy every satanic embargo on your finance and arrest and close the leaking package in your leakage leakages mm. in your spiritual pocket. Yes. As you obey the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so right now we're gonna go into prayer points. Yes. Don't forget what we have discussed today, that we must honor the name of the Lord. We must not profane the name of the Lord by our conduct. We must learn how to praise him. We must learn to hallow his name. As Jesus said, our Father, who art in, have, in heaven, hallow be thy name. Yes. We must learn to appropriate names to God. Calling name, calling Father. You know, Jesus said, our Father, our Father. Hallow means to sanctify, to set apart, to praise and adore him. Calling names, master the names of the Lord. Jehovah Tzibikinu, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Rofe, Rofe, Jehovah Makedisi, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shalom. These are old, old Hebrew Testament Hebrew names of God. Yes. You know, it is funny, the, the Hebrew people, they don't call him God. They don't play around with the name of God like we, the Gentiles, we play around with his name. It is my prayer that you hold, hallow the name of the Lord. It is my prayer that you honor his name. It is my prayer that you check your life. And as the Holy Spirit points something to you, you repent. Because you say, forgive us our sins. And as you repent, you also forgive those who offended you, those who are holding death to you. As you forgive them, the Lord will forgive you your own death. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, so first, let's thank God this morning. Let's begin to thank God. Yes, Brethren, Lord. thank Him Father, for a new Jesus. day. Lord, thank Him for a new day. Lord, yes, Lord. another day. Thank, thank Him for the word thank you're Lord, hearing the today. Word. Yes, the word of God, God that will bless your life. Lord, Lord, the word of God that will change your situation. Thank Him that you hear it pure and unadulterated word of God. Yes, thank Him. Thank Him for that. Thank Him for that. Thank you for that. Now begin to repent. Say, Lord, forgive me for any sin. Any sin that hinder my prayer, that hinder my financial breakthroughs. Father, forgive me. Any doorway that I open again for the enemy to use against me, against my finances, Lord, I close that doorway. I want to experience my financial. The name of Jesus, Therefore, Lord, I ask you this to forgive me of everything you have prayed and prayed. Say to the Lord, anything that brings the hindrance in your life, in any way you have profaned the name of the Lord, even like those money changers that will transform in money and give in a life of corruption. You know, the Bible says that those who sow in more, they will reap corruption. Those who sow in corruption, they will reap more with more with. In it the is name not of your Jesus. portion this Lord, 
that I have prayed God. God. As I pray, Lord, my God, and the good things have been attacked by my Lord, this is the attack. This is the attack. This is the attack. In the name of Jesus, this is the attack. This is the attack. This is the attack. Oh, Lord. 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 My Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I thank you. Yes, anything. Yes, these are all things.
I reject every financial embarrassment in the name of Jesus. I reject you. I reject you. In the name of Jesus. I reject you. every financial embarrassment in the name of Jesus. I reject you. In the name of Jesus. I reject you. In the name of Jesus. I reject you. Every financial embarrassment in the name of Jesus. I reject you. I reject you. In the name of Jesus. I reject you. 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 I reject you.
Brethren, I told you that poverty is a curse. Yes. Poverty is a curse. Yes. Check the children of God in the Bible. They are not poor. Even the prophets in the Bible, the men and women of God, yes. they are not poor. Yes. God always provides the means. I'm not saying that we will not go in time. Remember I said this earlier, there are times we are up in the mountain, there are times we are in the valley. Yes. There are times we go dry. But somehow the Lord says, For my God shall supply all your needs. Amen. According to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So when you constantly suffer lack, you constantly lack. Yes. Brethren, something is not right. Yes. So this morning, once again now, we're going to break and lose ourselves. Amen. From every curses of financial bondage, from every curses of the bondage of poverty, yes. we're going to lose and lose ourselves. We're yes. going to break them. And I want you to take this prayer point seriously. Yes. Whatever demon, whatever spirit, whatever yes. principality, yes. whatever thing your parents or grandparents have done or anyone that is connected to you by blood yes. or related to you or in any way, mm. whatever thing they have done that is causing you, that lead you to a curse, a curse of financial bondage yes. and poverty. Yes. God that sister, begin to reject it now. Yes. Begin to reject yes. and lose yourself yes, so from every financial curse, from every curse of poverty and financial problem. Yes, lose yourself from poverty spirit. Yes, find that spirit, spirit of poverty. We find you and send you away to a place of no return. We lose ourselves from every cause of financial bondage. We lose from every Lord cause of poverty in the, in the name of Jesus, Jesus we break I our pray sense of the yoke, the yes, the yoke of financial bondage, we break our sense, we reject it, we refuse it, Lord. Yes, Lord, we do also financial causes and bondage, we do also curses, the financial curses, we do also, Lord, 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 Oh, Lord, mercy, 
Goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy, follow me all the days of my life. Begin to pray that prayer this morning. Yes, let the goodness and mercy of God, let him follow us all the days of our life. Goodness and mercy of God, the only true from heaven. Yes, let them follow us. No more hardship, no more pain of God. No more pain, no more financial problems. Let them follow us. Goodness and mercy, follow us. Goodness and mercy, follow us. Goodness and mercy. In the name of Jesus, goodness and mercy for us. Yes, in the name of Jesus, goodness and mercy. Every day, goodness of God, mercy of God. For us, goodness and mercy of God. For us, yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we're going to ask God arise. And let every enemy of our financial breakthrough be scattered Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you in agreement? Say, O oh Lord, arise. Oh Lord, arise. And let, and let every, every our enemy enemies of our finances of my financial breakthrough be scattered. Begin oh to scatter them, man of God. Let God arise in those situations. Enemies of our finances of our God arise. Arise in every area. In my job. In my ministry. In my career. In my marriage. In my family. In my relationship. With my children. Arise, O Lord. 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 Amen. 
according to his riches in glory Amen. by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply. Yes. Not some need, not yes. few need. Amen. Not maybe need, but Amen. you see all your needs. Say with me all. 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 My God shall supply God shall all supply. my needs. All our needs. Yes. Yes. My God will supply all my needs. And our God I will, will possess my all possession. Our needs. Now in begin the, to pray that prayer that Jesus. God will supply our all God my needs. Supply and I will possess all in the my possessions our in God the name of Jesus. All yes, Lord, every need. Need. No matter what the need. Our God will supply. Yes, Lord, in the family our will supply. In the household of God will supply. In the finances I need for my ministry, you supply. Our God will supply. For my ministry, you supply. In the name of Jesus. The rain for the worship, for praise of our God, you supply. Yes, God will supply. You supply all my needs. In the name of Jesus. You supply money for In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, you supply. You supply money for money. Yes, Lord, you will Yes, Lord, you supply. He will supply to support the work of God. Yes, I'm doing it all over the place. He will supply. He will supply. Yes, Lord. He will supply. He will supply. Yes, Lord. He will supply. If you ever do that, or our wife, our children, you bless. And you glory the whole in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord, you bless. In the name of you Jesus. You supply all in the our name of Jesus. When our people, when we go to work, work, in work, the name of Jesus. Job, a good job. Yes, yes Lord. You supply. Yes, my you Father. Do. He will supply. He will supply for an army. You in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. He will. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. In the name of Jesus. You lead us to place we dwell in green grasses. He will supply. He will supply for our army. Yes, Lord. 
evil job. They yes, will Lord. honor us by yes, your grace, Jesus. by your spirit, yes. by your anointing upon our life. That yes, anointing Jesus. for breakthrough. Yes, Lord. Therefore, Lord, position us to be at the right place, at yes, the right time. Right yes, let the right direction of the yes, Lord. Lord bring with me yes, the blessings Lord. for your in children today. Yes Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.
I command thunder, I command fire, I command hailstone, I command particles, I command secret to swallow, to render powerless as the enemy that is holding our finances. Enemy that is at the of our finances. Let the enemy be destroyed. Let the child of God continue. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, we thank you, Jesus, we give you the glory. Lord, we thank you, we call the Lord. We say purify yes, the Lord. Lord. Make us ready to receive oh, yes. everything you, you have for us. Open your window, yes, Lord, bless God. into the oh, Lord. Pour out your blessings Lord. upon Jesus, us. Jesus, Father, even, Jesus, as Jesus, 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 even as we have prophesied, even as we have testified this morning, Lord, 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 Lord,
You take okay. care. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. If you have been blessed by this ministry, please uh, support us. You can donate us. You can donate. You can go to our website www.com www.overcomers DHM Ministries dot rocksport dot dot com, and if you 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 have any problem of how you can donate, you can always call me. My number is six four seven six zero eight five two zero seven. Also, you can email to me overcomers DHM at gmail dot com, and we will be happy to pray with you. We are happy to stand with you. Re call me, give me your prayer request, send me your prayer request. We will pray. Our work is to pray for you and 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 and, and, and attack the enemy of your finances, the enemy of your sickness, the enemy that is affecting your life. So we are here to pray with Pastor Sam. Pastor Sam is anointed man of God, and we are here to help you. We, and uh, and God will answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you for so much. Tonight. We are on 9 o'clock p.m. tonight. Invite people, invite your family, invite your friends. I will be speaking tonight, and God will, will bless you in the name of Jesus. Take care, and have a good day. God bless you so much. Bye.